For the past couple of months, Haitian society have been at the forefront of every news media in the Americas. And because of this reason, there have been a lot of speculations and myths circulating about Haiti and its people that we would like to debunk once and for all. If you're interested in learning more about Haitian culture, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mystery of History, and get access to some of our exclusive contents. Number 5. All Haitians Practice Voodoo Despite what is portrayed in the media, only 2.1% of Haitians practice voodoo in a population of 11.2 million. Most Haitians are Catholics and Protestants. Even though voodooism played a significant part in the Haitian Revolution, the majority of Haitians tend to stay away from it because of the stigma that surrounds the religion. Number 4. All Haitians are black or dark-skinned. Just like most countries in the Americas, Haitians comes in all different shades. Because of the institution of slavery, Haitian society have a variety of different colored people. For reasons that are obvious, a lot of Haitians are mixed with French, Polish, German, Syrians, and Lebanese. Although, these mulattoes are considered the minorities in the country, they are still able to play a significant role in Haitian society. Number 3. Haitians are the only people that speak Creole. Even though Haitian Creole is the most popular, there are a number of other countries that speaks Creole as well, or some form of it. Here's the list of some of those countries that speaks the French-based Creole, Saint Lucia, Martinique, Dominica, Guadeloupe, Saint Martin, Saint Barthélemy, Trinidad, and Tobago, Grenada, Mauritius, the Bahamas, and etc. Other countries that speak the English-based Creoles include Jamaica, and the US, and British Virgin Islands. Number 2. Haitians are lazy. While Haiti's unemployment and underemployment is high, reported 40 to 50 percent, that doesn't mean people aren't working. In fact, the people keep very busy, gathering water, caring for their gardens, and creating their own businesses. The country's struggling infrastructure has led to a lack of formal jobs. This is something that both the government and nonprofit organizations are working to change. The diaspora has been trying to change Haiti's infrastructure and institutions for over a century. They've always been met with hostility and death threats from the oligarchs that controls the country's economy. Number 1. It's impossible to change Haiti. Haiti is too rich in culture and resources to not change courses. Being the first free black nation in the Western Hemisphere have put a target on Haiti's back from all European countries that either profited or upheld the beliefs in the institutions of slavery. But, nevertheless, things are improving slowly, employment and education are both improving, as both the government and aid workers focus on these important issues. The CDC reports several improvements related to health and disease control since the 2010 earthquake. The UNDP reports several encouraging changes. First, there is a focus on a green and protected Haiti. In 2014, 5.5 million seedlings were planted, 50,000 Haitians were sensitized to climate change, and 150 environmental surveillance agents were trained. Second, before his assassination, President Jovenel Moise started working on a variety of projects that would have spearheaded Haiti in the right directions. Projects like 24-7 electricity in the capital, bridges, and roads in the more rural areas, an intelligence agency to fight the insecurity problem, and dedicated funds to combat corruptions in the country's government. Now that I have debunked all these misconceptions, I hope you enjoyed the content, and if you did, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mystery of History, just follow the icon in my bio.